Hello and welcome to this first look exploring session looking at uh, a university witty play thing with these wonderful readers that we are going to have here. Uh, this is uh, one of four videos with generic introductions looking at four different uh, sort of uh, academic entertainment -y things that we're releasing this Christmas. So Merry Christmas everyone. And uh, and uh, yes, yeah, so, so we're having a bit of fun with some short pieces uh, with uh, Liza, Aliki, Eric and Tom and myself, Robert. And uh, yes, uh, we are now going to go into the play for this video, which is Gown, Hood and Cap. Uh, I don't know if that is that its actual title. Once again, that's just the people who are on in this play, uh, this little dialogue playette thing, a dialogue between Gown, Hood and Cap. It's uh, academic entertainment. Um, Cambridge again. Uh, it might be at Trinity again, um, but we don't know for certain. Dating somewhere between 1610 and 1626. So you've got a 16-year gap when someone might have written this. I assume someone wrote it. I assume it didn't just land in the universe. Uh, so it's, an, it's a three-hander, uh, and uh, we start with Gown, and Hood uh, blindfolds him at the top of the text. Um, so, yeah, so we've had that actually qu quite a lot recently. Not necessarily in videos that have been released recently, but a lot of people blindfolding, you know, uh, people and going, you know, who do you think I am? Um, so... Yeah, it was it was easy to pull someone's hood over their eyes and yeah. just yeah. It was a thing. This is this is a this is a thing that people did. Um, so uh, Tom is gown and Eric, you are hood, and we will have the entrance of Cap later on. Who am I? I I know not. Oh. <laughs> I smell you now by your rose. It's shoe. No, guess again. Oh, uh, um, I feel a hole above the shoe. It's stocking? No, neither yet again. Who am I? Your vile strong, whosoever you be. Come, let me loose garter. One guess more. Suffolk, it can't be breeches. He'll come no more, I trow. He was clapped sufficiently last night. Nay, pretty thee, grip me not so hard. I feel you be a man of arms. Oh, it's doublet. You're too wide of the sleeves gown for doublet yet once more. Ha, uh, have I felt you at last? Yes, I think not neither. Yes, tis, I feel him by his wool. Tis hat come off hat, off hat. Phew, it's you. What do you hoodwink me? No, no, you'll not know your friends. Nay, be not angry. You know non vidimus uh, matinee. Quade Virgo est? Who? I angry? Faith, sir, no. Hood can wink at all faults. But Hood, where's Cap all this while? That we might go to the schools. I'll warrant you one has an odd corner or other to be in. Ent yeah. Enter Cap. But look you yonder, he comes. Phew! Robin Hood, how dost thou? How does little John? Aye, many will talk of Robin Hood that had ne'er shot in his boom. And you here too, gown. I was all the market over to look this long-tailed mackerel. Face cap, set all on a merry pin. My lads, you shall find me a mad cap. Why, where hast thou been now, cap, that art so merry? I was a the ladies at football, and we had such fine sport. I played so well that they all cast their caps at me. 
but I heard you say you weren't thrown extremely. Cap was thrown up oftener than anyone there. There was not a meat, but Cap was cast up. They should have, they should have sent for me. Oh, lost gown, what wouldst thou have done there? They would never have let thee play. They cast off gown before. Before they went to play. Why, well, methinks Gown should play well. He has good shanks. Who could endure blow well? He can never throw a man. This is all the good Gown can do. He will hang clogging on a man's back. He'll run through the thickest of them. I've seen Gown brush excellent well. Uh, gown scorns the, to budge for the best of them all. I know not what you scorn, but I am sure I have seen you take it up down as often as any. Like enough, for they'll play such a foul play to gown. They'll come and they'll take me up behind when I neither think on't, but if they'd come before me, I'd ne'er care. Nay, hey, they may do it before you too, for you lie very open before gown. Well, if he had been there now, he'd have been glad to run for the proctors came. Ah, uh, there was the finest sport. One ran this way and the other that way. The proctor had liked to have been upon double skirts and breeches had liked to have fallen down for haste. Shoes took to his heels and run away as fast as he could. And hat lost his band for haste and nobody durst stand the proctor by. Come, Cap, we'll, we'll go to the schools. Thou, thou hast not been there a long time, as I have seen. No, you neither, if the truth were well known. Yes, he, he kept axed the last Wednesday. Where are the philosophy schools? Hood scorns to keep acts with freshmen or with any other but bachelors. No, I'll warrant you. You think you should do as you do. You ne'er do anything but the nightcap in troth i know not whether you do anything in the day or no but it might be but in the night gown too for anything i know and so we might both keep our actus in tenebris away fool away your coxcomb shows you to be but an ass an ass friar bald pate i and a blockhead cap Oh, here's fine stuff, gown. I'll tell thee what, gown cap scorns but to have a better head than any of you both. I think you would have said a great, for I'm sure you ne'er durst do anything in the schools. Why, whilst you were a sophister and you were suspended cap every day for one thing or another. Nay, and you'd be so round, cap, we can take you down. As for your scholarship, I think you were the out of Aristotle's ethics yet, Cap. Why, that's more than ever you learned yet. You ne'er knew what good manners meant. Nay, gown, I'll warrant you, facing of it shall ne'er carry it away. So, I prithee, Cap, tell me the reason you sat not in the schools in Lent. What, not a word? <laughs> oh, you... You're a considering cap, are you? Faith, I'll tell thee what, Gown, methinks everyone should cut his coat according to his cloth. What if it cost the cap a crown to buy out his setting? Did you not do so too, Gown? No, sir, I sat all the while. Nay, it is no matter if you had hung up in the meantime, but indeed I think you did but set your went upon none. Well, Cap. You need ne'er disgrace ground, for I can tell you it's been put to the proof. There are a few masters of arts in the town that will make much of gown. gown. Alas, Hood, you had more need to speak for yourself, for gown is well backed without you. Why, I hope you make no doubt of my learning. How canst thou be a scholar when thou art a riding hood so often? Thou satst in Lent only for fashion's sake. It's well known what I am. Ay, I'll bear hood witness. He went over all the bachelors. I thought schools before he had done. Nay, never speak you so much for a hood. He'll be upon your back too, gown, ere it be long. Come, I know him of old. And what do you know him for? 
marry for a notorious fox catcher? Why, I think Hood ne'er goes to the tavern. No, but I'm sure he goes to the alehouse. Hood is altogether for lamb's wool. Speak no more, Cap, than you can prove. No more I don't, for myself have oftentimes seen you at casting Hood. Why, Cap, you think you need not speak so much against Hood for that. I have known you been a fuddling Cap, too. Faith to speak truth of thee, Gown, I must be say I never see thee foxed. But I met you, Gown, and Staff with an old man once, and if Faith Staff was well whittled and you lined, well, <laughs> you had best leave it and say, I tell you in a friendly manner of it, take heed you'll get a habit ere it be long. And then you'll have your hood pulled over your ears, and then we shall have a morning hood. I hope this gear will cotton better with hood than so. Exit hood. But where is he? No sooner talking of being drunk than he's gone. Why, he's gone to the schools before. Do not you know that he's to reply to the day, and so he's afraid to stay too long. Do you, Gown, answer, then indeed, Hood will come upon you. Yes. Then I prithee go follow him, and I'll follow you presently. Exit Gown. This tis to be great in the proctor's books as cap. He has made me moderator, and now I have a good time to be quit with gown and hood both. If gown be tedious in his position, I'll cut off gown. I'll not have him too long. As for hood, I'll take him off presently if he dispute not well. But I know they stay for me. Our author bids me say for his gown and hood, it is the tailor's fault that they're not good. But howsoever, for fear of worse mishap, he lowly craves a pardon with his cap. And again, it's the same sort of game, isn't it? It's uh, it's it's a sort of non uh, a very low level argument between uh, some people, someone uh, broadly speaking. Uh, sort of standing in between, but they're all a little more evenly matched um, here. Uh, it's it, I liked the opening hoodwinking at the very beginning was actually quite nicely done. Um, the fact you're being hoodwinked, winked by a hood, um, and it's it's an interesting question about how you personify these and costume these and play with these. Uh, I'd be quite curious to see how that sort of all flows together. Um, uh, thoughts um, on this one. Uh, 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 Liza, you appear. Do you have thoughts? Oh, I do. Okay, this is a very recondite kind of humor. This is humor for exam season. And in universities the world over, there's a kind of a tradition of doing wild shit when you finish your exams. And uh, I'm, and I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure this play must have been performed at the end of at the end of a, a term when there were exams held. Uh, these days, it's the summer term. Back then, who knows? Um, but uh, Rob, you're saying this was written for Trinity. Do we know Trinity Oxford or Trinity Cambridge? Uh, the, the the this this is Cambridge. Uh, maybe Trinity. Maybe Cambridge. Okay. Well, I was at the other place, so I know less about Cambridge uh, uh, than than. Uh, that I might, but I do know uh, that you, that as, as a student, as an undergraduate, you wear your gown to sit your exams and you sit your exams in the exam schools, which is what they talk about. They talk about going to the schools and um, and, and um, Cap is being slightly shamed because he bought out his sitting. That is Cap paid someone else to take his exams for him. So you you have to um, you so anyway when you when you when you're a student and you sit at exams you have to wear your gown that's your formal student attire um, when you get your bachelor's degree 
you get a hood, which is trimmed with white lamb's wool. Uh, there's a lamb's wool thing at the end, and they um, lamb's wool was also the name of a drink made with uh, beer and uh, whipped egg whites, I think. Uh, and I think he's giving you a terrified look. Look, they put good. egg whites in cocktails these days. It's they not do as, indeed. as you'd think. Um, and I think it was a warm drink as well. So it would sort of be a bit like egg white with the white, the eggnog with the white with white swipped. Um, anyway, uh, and then cap is what you wear when you graduate. So I think cap has the highest status, except that it's revealed that they didn't earn that status like it like a lot of people they they paid someone to sit out the exams for them um so they uh, they talk about um hood being all over the bachelors because that's what a, someone with a bachelor's degree wears uh and um then you say uh and then hood leaves and he says well he's gone to the schools before do you know not that he's to reply today and that means he has uh, what's now known as his viva. He has to um, defend his thesis, and then he'll, uh, and then from a bachelor with a hood, he'll be a doctor who I think can wear a cap. I'm not sure. I, again, I'm not sure what they do in Cambridge, uh, uh, but that is that is that is what my humble knowledge can provide. Yes, no, I, I, and I think you're, you're you're absolutely right on on the progression there of uh, you know the of of of, of uh, gowns gowns uh, to, to capness. Um, you, you don't get capped after until after you graduate, um, uh, and and uh, yeah, I, again, it's it it's something that feels like it, it it might just about work in a in a modern university context, um, but again, it still needs a bit of an introduction to set up a lot of that layering. Um, and it, it doesn't quite have that level of uh, of excitement as some of the other ones that we've uh, we've looked at um, of this kind of, of thing, but um, it's it's still got life to it. I mean, it's still got bounce. I'm 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 not I'm not out railing against uh, against this text for for stealing minutes of whole minutes of my life. Um, <laughs> sometimes one does. Um, so yeah, it's it's all fitting. It, it it again with with all of these university sort of entertainments that we've looked at in various videos in the past, um, for, it, up to the more expansive sort of pucker plays that you know go on for a reasonable amount of time. It does feel like that there's a clear genre that students are you know they turn up to uni they see what the previous years have been doing they they, they know the kind of shows that you're supposed to do. And so, so the fact that the, some of these seem quite samey, I think, is just part of the continuum. Do your variation on a theme this year around uh, this. Um, so I, I'm, I'm sort of quite interested in this as a sort of a genre of of entertainment um, that, 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 that that's sort of bouncing about now. Uh, Tom, or should I say gown? I'll say gown. Well, thank you. Um... Yeah, it's it, it's not written or has no pretensions of being anything but um, this diversus mont, this uh, this little little mouthful, uh, and it doesn't pretend to be anything more. So. Mm. Yes, I, I think did I say it before we went on camera? Is these, these are little amuse bouche uh, of, 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 of things. Um, maybe uh, I don't know whether in context whether they were performed with, with uh, you know other things as part of an evening or whether they were you know how how precisely they'd be. Um, we we are looking at other sort of revel seasons of uh, of things where, you know, uh, is this part of a, a a wider evenings entertainment or just part of an ongoing entertainments? Um, what is the context for performance of which I do not know off the top of my head? This is all things to discover. Eric. I'm just wondering how drunk the audience was, because you know obviously the more drunk the audience is, the funnier the jokes are. Um but um yeah, no, I I did like how, you know, there was that element of like picking up the gown or like sort of before or behind um the and uh, sort of puns on oh yeah, riding hoods or like Hood, uh, caps for you know nightcap and that kind of thing. There's a problem going. That's just maybe a bit too much, but also quite funny. Mm. 
Okay. Mm. Any anything else to be said about caps and gowns and hoods? No. Right. Awkward jump cut to generic close of video. Well, uh, we've enjoyed this uh, insert academic entertainment here. Uh, all that remains to thank all the wonderful readers, Tom, Eric, Liza and Aliki, for all their wonderful reading. Thank you very much, everyone. And goodbye. A line from the end of the play.